A few months after its release, OpenAI gave ChatGPT internet access through plugins. Now, ChatGPT has transformed into something much more than a chatbot. Like, last week, OpenAI announced that all its ChatGPT Plus subscribers would get access to their own code interpreter plugin. This news has people excited but also a bit worried, because the code interpreter is so powerful feature that could potentially take over the jobs of many data scientists. So, honestly, Code Interpreter is one of the most powerful plugins that you can add to ChatGPT+. It makes it possible for ChatGPT to understand and interact with various programming languages. It acts as a bridge between human language and code, allowing users to input code and get appropriate outputs or explanations from ChatGPT. Code Interpreter supports Python as its main language, but can also work with other languages such as JavaScript, HTML, CSS, SQL, and more. It also allows users to upload and download files, such as images, videos, audio, or text documents. You can then further adjust the code, or have ChatGPT make its own changes and suggestions. It was announced by OpenAI in March 2023, along with other plugins, and initially it was available only to a small number of users and developers from the waitlist. But last week, as I mentioned, it has been rolled out to all ChatGPT Plus subscribers, and it received a lot of positive feedback and praise from users who have tried it out. But what exactly can Code Interpreter do? And how can you use it? So this plugin can do a lot of things that you might not expect from a chatbot. It can run code, access and edit uploaded files, analyze data, create charts, and more. But it can also help you learn new programming concepts, debug your code, or generate content for you. To use it, you need to be a ChatGPT Plus subscriber and have the plugin enabled in your chat settings. Then you can simply type in your code, or upload your file, and ChatGPT will respond accordingly. You can also ask ChatGPT questions about your code or file, and it will try to answer them. Let's say I put a picture of a cat into ChatGPT and ask it to change the picture to black and white using the Python. It will do that, yes, but it will also explain how the code works and what each line does. As you can see, ChatGPT not only runs the code and shows the output, but also explains what each line of code does and why. This is very helpful for learning new programming concepts or understanding existing code. A code interpreter doesn't just handle images. It can work with different kinds of files like videos, sound, or text documents. So, let's say I send in a video of a dog and I tell ChatGPT to put captions on it using Python. It won't only provide me with the completed video, but it will also explain the way the programming functions and what each section accomplishes. And it can also work with data analysis and visualization. If I put in a CSV file of sales info and ask ChatGPT to make a bar graph using Python, it'll show me the graph and explain how it made it. In fact, one of the most cited examples, in May, a user uploaded a CSV file of every lighthouse location in the US. The user in their prompt asked ChatGPT to create a GIF map of the lighthouse locations, where the map is very dark, but each lighthouse twinkles. A few seconds later, ChatGPT produced an accurate map with flickering lights showing where the lighthouses are. Obviously, Code Interpreter has many real-world applications that can benefit both professionals and hobbyists. Think about how it can make your life easier. For example, look at data analysis. You can use Code Interpreter to explore, manipulate, and visualize data from various sources, or in content creation, to write a poem, a story, or an essay. Think about programming. If you're learning to code, need to fix your code, or just want to make it better, it can assist you. And what about education? To teach or learn all kinds of things like math, science, or history. And that's just the tip of the iceberg because there's so much more you can do either on your own or with a bit of help from ChatGPT. And of course, there are lots of different coding tools, including Code Academy, Jupyter Notebook, and Google Colab. So what makes Code Interpreter so special? Well, Code Interpreter has some pretty cool features. It's linked with ChatGPT, so you can ask it questions and it helps improve your code. It can also use other features like web search, plugins, and content generation, making coding easier and fun. Another good thing is that it supports different programming languages like Python, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, SQL, and more. It also allows you to upload and download different types of files, giving you more flexibility. But it's not perfect. It's not as fully equipped as an IDE or editor. 
Missing features like syntax highlighting, auto-completion, debugging tools, or version control, and doesn't support all libraries and modules. This means it's not ideal for complicated or professional tasks right now. However, as ChatGPT gets better, this situation should also improve. In a nutshell, Code Interpreter has pros and cons. It's a cool tool for beginners and people who want a fun coding experience. But let's hear what some users have to say about it. Ethan Mollick says, Code Interpreter is amazing. I used it to create GIFs from nothing with Python code, and it even made PDF documents for me. Then Linus Belunis says, Code Interpreter is insane. I made a video game with JavaScript code, and it even put in sound effects and music for me. Riley Goodside shares, Code Interpreter is awesome. I did some simple video editing with Python code, and it even changed a GIF into an MP4 for me. So you see, people are really blown away by what Code Interpreter can do. They're finding all sorts of fun and practical uses for it. But there's a whole world of stuff people have made with Code Interpreter. Like, someone built a calculator using Python code. Another person made a word cloud with Python code. Another one crafted a tic-tac-toe game, again with Python code. Someone else constructed a chatbot, a quiz, and much more. All these examples just go to show how creative and versatile Code Interpreter can be. Now, Code Interpreter is not just a cool feature that makes ChatGPT more fun and useful. It is also a game-changer for AI and work. It is setting a new standard for how AI can interact with code and data, and how humans can leverage AI to do more meaningful and in-depth work. It is democratizing data science and programming, making them more accessible and intuitive for everyone. You don't need to be an expert coder or a data analyst to use Code Interpreter. You just need to have a question, a problem, or a goal, and ChatGPT will help you find the best solution using code. It is also reducing the rote work and increasing the creative work allowing you to focus on what matters most. You don't need to spend hours writing, debugging, or optimizing code. You can let ChatGPT handle that for you while you focus on the bigger picture, the deeper insights, or the novel ideas. Code Interpreter is also enabling new forms of collaboration and communication, bridging the gap between human language and code. You can share your code with others in a more understandable and engaging way using ChatGPT's explanations and comments. You can also learn from others' code using ChatGPT's questions and suggestions. Essentially, Code Interpreter is transforming the way we use AI and code and the way we work with data and information. It is opening up new possibilities and opportunities for everyone, regardless of their background or skill level. And even though it's not perfect yet and isn't ready for advanced tasks, its potential is clear. It helps to simplify and understand code, explore data, and make content, and most importantly, it got people thinking outside the box. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.